up now you gang it's me and i'm back with another video so as y'all see by that title y'all know today's video is gonna be about y'all so before we get into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell follow all my social medias that will be down in the description below her social medias will be down in the description below and also on the screen so make sure y'all follow me. so y'all this is my sister it's just my two channel girl please subscribe how you social channel y'all i'm making one for real in the summer she's capping but y'all, we got food. Show them your food. Uh, I, I think it's gonna fall off. Show them your food. I think it's like... Yeah, you do like that. It's all fine. I'm just extra to be doing all like this and stuff. But... Y'all, we got chicken, corn, mashed potatoes, Arizona. Uh, so, we coming to y'all with a mukbang. So, we got topics for y'all. So, pull them up on your phone. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna be eating more than I'm talking because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. So. Alright, the first one is um find out your friends about a boy. Okay, so y'all. We can move. Mm -mm. I'm ready to drag, like I'm ready to think all day. So um, the first topic is falling out with your friends over a boy. Okay. Oh, Me personally, I'm not that type of friend. I'm not falling out with none of my friends over no boy. I feel like you should fall out with your friends about a boy because he's not going to fall out with his friends about you. So I'm exactly. out with your friends over him. But me personally, I'm not that type of uh, friend anyway to be falling out over no friend with no boy. Like... Like, it depends on the situation, though, because I'm continuing. The only way I will fall out with my friend, well, I can't say that, but I feel like I probably would fall out with my friend over boy is stay ill if her man disrespecting me, like, calling me out my name, just straight disrespecting me, and I come to her about it, and she don't check him or on his side about it. I wouldn't say I'll fall out, but I feel like that would change, you know, our friendship for real. That's the only way. But, like, falling out with my friend with no boy. Baby, I'm the type of person, y'all. I do equal. I'm a chip like a... He's not going to follow his friends over you, so... That's true. That man is not falling out with none of his friends over you, baby. Anything, he falling out with two of his friends. You know right. what I'm saying? Every time. Every time. But what I don't like about this generation now is... They'll be so quick to follow their friends, right? They also fall out with their boyfriend, but they will take their boyfriend back quicker than they'll take their friend back. That's what I don't like. Cause I had a friend like that, y'all. We'll argue all the time. Huh? Her man will argue, and I'm the type of person like I come to you. You know what I'm saying? I come to you about it, and the injury that she gave me, then the boy, it was like. Baby. I feel like everybody had a friend like that before. Oh, no, like I thought like people know. say that about me. And be like, cause they don't know. Like they might be like, girl, you fought with that girl one time, but you keep talking to. Mm -hmm. Girl, we fell out like five times. Nobody just knew. Who you and your friend? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they don't even know. So they just be they know. That's why it's hard to find genuine. But now y'all, she was like generation for us. She was getting mad at us. Be mad at. Females get so mad at they friend, but just so quick to, you know what I'm saying? With they man, like I don't like that at all. Cause you want to fight? I don't like that at all. I really don't like that. Like, cause I know a lot of people. If you can take it, after you cheat on you, you can get that cool with somebody that talked about you. Cause at the end of the day, loyalty is loyalty. Loyalty is loyalty. I don't know. I just feel like now generations is weird with this friendships and these boys because these boys will do you so dirty so down low messed up and you quit to take him back and your friend don't do no dirty down low stuff we might get into an argument oh you mad at the world want to cut me off you know what i'm saying he cheating on you beating on you doing whatever he doing to you and you will take him back i feel like this generation so on to men like too attached to the point where that's like, it's not just this generation i feel like everybody be not that what what kill me is they not even y'all men they don't even be y'all men for real y'all know that 
I see like if you talking to that person and your friend like trying to um mess around with that person. Okay, see, like, and I feel like if you cut your friend off, you need to cut too. No, for she real. She wasn't doing that by herself. No. Uh huh. Oh, if your friend talking to your nigga, uh -huh. you need to cut both of them off, not just your friend. I'm glad you said that because. I'm so glad you said it because I've seen a lot of people be saying they friend cheated with a man. And they still be with the friend. Yes. Not cool with the friend no more. Girl. Done with the friend. She did this. She disloyal. What he is? You took him back. You still live with him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you brought it up because I see. I don't like stuff like that. I don't like stuff like that and don't want to have too many people around. Y'all put. Y'all put up with so much funny man. Like, it's no girls, girls, I for real. Yeah, like, y'all put up like with so me, much. Like, I don't know, I hate the girls, like, why are you talking to somebody boyfriend thinking it's cute? It, it's not cute. That's embarrassing. That means you give side B. It's not cute at you're, all. You're easy and green. That's why he's talking to you. Like, mm -mm. we ain't trying to bash nobody. We just giving our opinion because that's how we feel. But if you do that, you need to stop. That's not cute. This how we feel, and again, we're not bad for nobody, did you? How we feel. You feel me? Don't take it the wrong way if you do it. If you do it, stop. But this how I feel. I'm sorry. What's the next topic? Okay, we're going to talk about toxic friendships. Okay, you can go first. I feel like in friendships, you don't argue, but you shouldn't be arguing every day. What you arguing for? Okay. No, if you say communication is arguing... I want to be around you. Yeah. No. If you're always negative, I want to be around you. Okay, so, because I don't know if I had a toxic friendship. I don't want to call us we was toxic because we was arguing a lot. But I feel like it was because of miscommunication, misunderstanding. I hate when I can understand somebody that can never understand me. Oh, my God. I hate that so bad. Like, yo. Anybody come to me, I'm very understanding. No. I just hate that. No. I don't never understand no. me. I hate that so bad. I hate that. So, they just give our opinion on toxic friendships. Girl, don't be in that friendship. Please, it. Mm hmm. They are different. Say, I feel the same way. If that friendship is keep y'all keep arguing, or you feel like she, they not that type of person for you, just let it go. Yeah, surround yourself with people. That's like you. And that can motivate you, uplift you, not like, bring you down, not keep you, not keep arguing with you if over you the same around stuff every day. People, that's who you're going to become. Yes, and so. that's so true. So I just feel like get out of them situations. No matter how close y'all, how deep y'all are, how much you love them. It's okay when you fall apart with people. That's life. You know what I'm saying? You can fall apart. It don't got to be no bad, but you know, none of it. It's okay with falling apart. So I just feel like if it's toxic to you, overwhelming you, let it go. Please let it go. I used to give people second chances, but I don't no more. Because giving them a second chance basically just saying, like you basically giving them another opportunity to do the same thing over again. And I'm you real, can't be bad it. when you get the same outcome. Because you knew that was going to happen when you got them that second chance. And you can't blame nobody but yourself. Okay. I'm the type of person, I forgive. I don't forget. I forgive. And... If we want to both work on us together, then we could. Okay, so I give second chances depending on the situation. You know what I'm saying? If you just lowball did me dirty wrong that you can't come back from it, then yes, no second chance. You out here, I don't even want no dealings with you, no none of that. But if it's like petty stuff that we could have been worked on and we growing from it and we both coming to an agreement like, okay, we need to work on ourselves. We could do this. We could do that. And we tell each other what we didn't like about what each other did or how things need to be. What we want in a relationship, friendship, whatever. And you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. We both got that understanding so we can work on the new us. Not the new us, but the better version of us. You know what I'm saying? So I give our second chances, but we had that talk, right? So if, if I give you that second thing, chance, yeah, and you still come to me with the same, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Because I give second chances, I'm not even gonna lie, but 
If you, yeah, I give more than a second chance. But, but it, it, it's, like, it's petty it. stuff. Like if it's petty stuff, I'm, I promise you, if it's something real bad, you not. Yeah, I don't know. I give people chance. chances over and over again because I feel like people can change. Mm -hmm. and that's my problem. But like I said, it really depends on the situation. Like if like if I can cheat on you, you gonna keep cheating on you. If a girl like your friend, if your friend just doing you so wrong, they are gonna keep doing it. Yeah, but I'm if right. it's some petty stuff, y'all can get over there. If your friend is talking about their other friends to you, that's a red you. flag. They're talking about you say other friends too. That's the red. So. I had a girl like this. She used to come to me and she used to tell me about her friends, her old friends, and I never told her none of my stuff because. Maybe you talking I, about me too. Yeah. Man. I know what you're gonna do to me. Let's get into this. Let's get to this. Are y'all the type of person, if y'all man like all these girls' pictures on Instagram, like, is that, you know, you know feel like about that? Like, I feel like it's Instagram, right? So, it's just called being an active follower. But if you comment, you doing too much. Yes. Like, you can like a picture, but if you comment, uh -huh. nah. So, a red flag for a friendship is. Oh my you, God. I feel like if you messy, that's a red flag. If you messy, that is most. Definitely a red flag. Why are you always worried about the next girl? If you judge mental, that's a red flag. I can't stand no judge mental friend. Another red flag is a girl who make boys their whole personality. Why every time you go out, you gotta be there for you. Yeah. I feel like your friends and the person you dating, they don't got they don't they shouldn't be friends. So I remember like a long time ago, right? We was friends, I had these friends, whatever. This way, I'm like, our whole little friends feel like, I was not even texting no more. They still talking about Yana, Yana, Yana. So, y'all have never been not liking me, huh? Like, I ain't even saying that no more. And Yana this, Yana that. Dang, baby. Like, y'all. Yeah. Whenever y'all was in there cleaning my room, I get on my phone. Yana this, Yana that. Y'all been had What's it. What's going on? Y'all been had it on y'all heart. What I can't stand is a person just jealous and got secret animosity. Because I'm the type of person, if, I'm, if I don't even like you or have a problem with you or seek animosity which i don't that's not me but if i was the type of person i wouldn't even be around you there's no point of me being around you trying to be better better with you and i know i don't like you like i don't hold words but i'm like i will never forget what you said and i'm like, i'm not gonna hold it against you but every time i see you i'm gonna think about that see that's how i was yeah i, I that's how i know i'm growing up for yeah i just know so right i was in school I got talking with this girl. She ain't getting all loud. Girl, you standing two chairs away from me. Why is you yelling? Yeah, you my sister right wanted here. to do this video, so I see why. She had to get everything off her chair. <laughs> no, like, y'all, she gonna yell to my, let me walk out of this class before I set somebody. You standing two chairs away. Come say me. Why not is gonna you do yelling? Because they not gonna do this. Yeah, I just feel like this year, I'm not giving nobody the benefit of the doubt. I'm not giving nobody no energy, no none of that. If you negative, I'm straight not being around you. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't no way you finna be negative and, and rub on me or I gotta be around you. You know what I'm saying? You being negative, I don't wanna be around none of that. So, and I'm not giving nobody the benefit of the doubt. You do one thing. One, th half of a thing. You do it's half done. of a thing, you done. I'm gonna type person, if I know I don't wanna be your friend or I know that I just feel like in my heart we not gonna be like that. I'm not even about to be, ain't no point of me coming around you fake kicking it, baby. I'm just done. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's 2024, y'all. We just all got to do better within ourselves. Forget the man. Forget the friends. Forget all that. We got to do better within ourselves. Let's talk about words because this is very important. Don't say nothing out of the way because we got to put it into their heads. You know, don't be aggressive and stuff. Y'all, I feel like as us females, we all got to, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like as us females, I feel like we all have to learn our self worth. If we don't know our self worth, then it's gonna be bad Everybody for us. Know you. Yes, we, it's gonna be bad for us. And I'm pretty sure we all still learn our self worth. See what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta set boundaries for real. And you most because no, I used to be real nice. Like nobody ever saw me mad before. And then people like they just take my niceness and just say they can run all over me. No, baby. See, yeah, you most definitely have to have boundaries. But when you have your boundaries, baby, you have to stick to them. No way you have boundaries, but let them run over that boundary. Now, you have to stick to it. Stand on business. I ain't gonna lie. I act like a, 
a B word now because nobody not gonna play with me. See, you guys stand on beanies, and that's okay to stand on beanies because if they can't respect it, they shouldn't be around you. You get what I'm saying? Everybody gotta have boundaries with people because if not, they're gonna run all over you. Ain't no way nobody running all over me. Well, so, not no more. Not no more. Exactly. I am playing. You gotta start living for yourself. I don't care what your parents want you to do. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Yeah. Like, some people be like, I don't want to go to college, but mom want me to go. We don't want to go, baby. Don't, don't go. go. At all. Y'all got to understand, this is our lives. We have to live for ourselves. Yes, our family, friends, and other people outside want to see us great, but their type of great. They feel like that's their greatness. You know what I'm saying? We have our own greatness that we see ourselves doing. You know what I'm saying? So just because your mama was a nurse, Never or a police a and they want you to pick that up that's not true don't do it and yes we don't be want to disappoint our parents but it's like at the end of the day we gotta live for us live your life for yourself and do don't, what you want yeah don't make let your own decision mm -hmm. don't let nobody make your decision for you. so i know how to braid stuff right everybody be like do here no i don't want to do here so i'm not going to do it like i don't want to do with my life and here is not it Okay, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed that, y'all. That will be the end of this video, y'all. We touch points on a lot of good things. And I'm going to put her social medias in the description. And mine will be in there as well. Bye, y'all.